Chris Mikowski of Emerging Civil War standing on perhaps the most famous spot of the Stones River battlefield, the Slaughter Pen. Now, I have to admit, as a Fredericksburg guy, uh, the Slaughter Pen is the south end of the Fredericksburg battlefield, <laughs> preserved by the American Battlefield Trust. Um, but of course, this uh, probably better known as the Slaughter Pen for no less reason than because at the time it got its name. A lot of the soldiers that were fighting here had. Uh, you know, were Illinois soldiers. Some of them had been in the meatpacking industry in Chicago. They'd seen the slaughterhouses up there and likened the strewn boulder-like area filled with wounded and dead as a slaughter pen from those slaughterhouses. So that's where the name came from. Uh, this area is occupied by four regiments um, that are fighting on, um, holding on against intense pressure from three sides. Uh, and finally, uh, they're, they're in uh, Miller's Brigade, and uh, finally, on their right, little Phil Sheridan's men collapse, and they pull out. And as a result, this unit, uh, you know, this brigade then finds itself under intense fire. Three sides coming in on them, and their brigadier commander, James Negley, comes in and says, you've got to get out of here, you've got to pull out, save yourselves. And that's when the Federals finally give this position up. But it served as a very important uh, roadblock, as uh, one park, park historian said to me. Um, this served as a really important roadblock or speed bump for the Confederate advance that were coming in this direction uh, because it does slow them down enough uh, for Federals to then reestablish a position uh, further away and, and uh, eventually darkness will settle in over the battlefield and, and, and kind of bring the Confederate action to a halt. Uh, but really, this fighting through here, um, these are limestone formations. It's a labyrinth. I'm going to hop around on these rocks here for a moment so that you can get a better look at uh, what things, uh, uh, what this place actually is. And in, in a lot of ways, um, I feel like a giant standing over the Grand Canyon or something like that because of all the uh, twists and turns and labyrinthine canyons between these uh, limestone outcroppings. Um, doesn't provide necessarily a whole lot of cover, and, and a lot of people feel like, um, oh gosh, how'd you fit two divisions worth of men through here? They don't, you get one brigade in here. Um, but it's amazing how you can uh, cram yourself into these crevices to find any little bit of cover you can as Confederate fire is so intensely coming at you. Uh, this is a welcome reprieve, a welcome spot for these men to find a little bit of shelter, even though they eventually have to take it up. Imagine uh, three sides of fire coming in front and both sides being enfiladed. Um, it's just wonder that they held on as long as they did. For Emerging Civil War, standing in the slaughter pen of Stones River, I'm Chris Mikowski.